Hello, this is Grandison Shine, Chief Marketing Officer here at Direct Business Marketing. We are a marketing firm for many, many different types of clients and many, many different types of industries. And we're going to continue our conversation on event marketing. Uh, we're looking at our document called the Event Marketing Action Plan. This is the plan that will allow you and help you develop everything you need with all the resources in one area. So you can put together all the marketing materials and the right event and, do, and know what you're going to do from a campaign standpoint. An event marketing action plan should be a campaign. We spoke about generate, capture, store, and nurture in the first video, and it still continues on. So now we're looking at the generate and capture section here. We have some marketing items that need to be developed, okay? So on this document, you'll see that the standard items in gray, those are the ones that should be constructed for every event, okay? Uh, so making sure that you have that information handy all the time, well, this is going to help you just create these, this, these event marketing pieces that you're going to need. Again, the gray area, those should be constructed for every single event. We get down to the white area, which we'll talk about here in a second. Let's talk about this area here first, okay? So one of the things that you're going to make sure that you need is the event summary, which we'll talk about that below in another video. But we'll also we want to make sure that you record a video. We found that those event break pages or the web pages, landing pages that have a video associated with it do a lot better when it comes to signups, okay? You want to have some outbound emails prepared, right, because you're going to market to your database, and you also want to... You also want to be able to cut and paste them and give them right to your event JV partners and your event sponsors, right? Post event email drip campaign, you want to automatically set that up too. The Eventbrite page with the, uh, the custom link, um, we'll, that's a whole other subject there with the custom link, but each, well, basically with each Eventbrite landing page that you make, you can have a custom link. It could be the name of the event, .eventbrite.com. It has a section in it where you can fill that in. You want to have the registration response email, meaning that Eventbrite, again, that's a system we like to use, or if you don't use Eventbrite, you can use, you should have this. So when they sign up, it either goes to another web page that allows them to say, hey, here's like where I can download it, and you're thanking them for attending, and it should also send an email, okay? So the registration response, at the very least, you can have that email saying, hey, thank you very much for signing the event. By the way, we promise you a free download, your soft offer, here you go. Right? So in that registration email, you want to email, we'll talk about it later we'll, uh, when we get down to the other ones there below. Social media marketing, right? one of the most important things that we're going to position is Facebook because you should have friends, you should have a, a business page for Facebook. But that cover image, you want to change the cover image every single time you do an event. You want to make sure it changes. Then you want to outline your social media posts. When I say social media, that could be Facebook, Twitter. LinkedIn or whatever else, and then you also want to have a flyer. So these are the basic, most, again, most basic items you want to have for every single event. The event summary, the video, the outbound emails, the campaign, the post event, email drip campaign, the event break campaign, the registration response email, Facebook cover, the social media post, and then the flyer. From there, we can get into other marketing items, and those other marketing items are, can be anything. So the other marketing items can be like um, another series of videos that you want to use to trickle out to the market. You can have, you can do a pay-per-click campaign. You can do an SEO campaign. Um, you can do anything you want to do. All these other marketing items that you want to to develop, um, you can do that. So having the appropriate marketing items is going to be very, very important. But at the very least, just use those in the gray. Talk about marketing avenues now, okay? So when we talk about marketing avenues, this is the this is outlines the, the proposed items of of with whom and where the marketing items will be deployed. So now, those marketing items at the top. Say, for instance, you develop the flyer. That flyer should go to your sponsor. It should go to your JV partner. It should also be on the social media. That flyer can go to your own database. The flyer can be posted at the you know, at the event, at the venue where the event's going to be. I mean, there's so, so many items that are many places where you can have your marketing mediums distributed. And here, if you, this is where we want to put the affiliate link. If you have a relationship with your sponsors, your event partners, uh, even if you want to track who's doing what and how good their list is, this is a good way because then you can track 
you really want to get anal about it, quotation marks there, if you want to get anal about it, you can say, hey, I'm going to give each of these, uh, each of my sponsors and JV partners their own custom link because I want to see where they're coming from. And even if you decided, hey, I want to provide some sort of value for them and a monetary value, I should say, and give them a, a piece of the action if it was a paid event, right? Then you can know how much to pay them out and who, what, who registered from where, where they came from, all those kinds of so all the tracking things that you can use. But understanding the marketing avenues, where are you going to place all these marketing materials that we just spoke about above, is going to be very, very important. Emails, we'll talk about that later on. But you should have emails written out for your sponsors and JVs to write out. Yeah, not only just give them the flyer, but now you're going to take, the, you're going to cut and paste. And this is a document will help you do that when we get to the email section cut and paste emails that will be able to be sent to the JV partners, the sponsors, and everybody else. This is Grant and Shines, Chief Marketing Officer here at Direct Business Marketing. We're talking about event marketing, and we're showing our event marketing action plan. If you need to contact me, feel free to do so at 602-369-8119. And you can email me if you want at Granison, G-R-A-N-I-S-O-N, at directbusinessmarketing.com. Thank you very much. Bye.